family in a house in one evening over the course of that evening celebrating Big Daddy's birthday. Big Daddy, he's about to die from colon cancer, but the doctors lied to him. Ain't nothing wrong with me but a spasty colon! Well, I... What is that? About that report from the clinic? It's pain. She's grabbing it. It's death. We follow Brick and Maggie, who are in a conflict over their marriage. Um, what the terms of their marriage are going to be. Maggie's deeply in love with Brick. Brick hates Maggie. I'm not. Yes. I was trying to win back my husband. It didn't matter how. I would have done anything. Because they shut you out, and that's what you hated, being shut out. Not by the crowds, baby. By you. By the man I worship. Um, we were that's decided to do something that would be fresh so that we could come to it without any uh, preconceived notions about how the classes would run. One of the things that happens in any school is um, you have this set curriculum and as the years go by, um, successive uh, years of students will say to the next class, now well, this is what's going to happen to you, this is what you're going to read, this is what your assignment's going to be, and it just sort of flattens everything out. It makes me a bit anxious just to think about you know, how they'll handle it, what they'll come with, and what they'll be willing to do. Before English class, I've never heard of this before, but that just adds to like the fun part of English class. It's not like a book where the narrator's telling us about the characters. We have to see into their speech and who they are. I was excited to start this new material because I, I always enjoy reading plays. Like I enjoy reading literature in general, but something about plays is more engaging. We keep plays in the curriculum so that they can read different genres over the course of the year. Um, and learn to train their eye for different things on the page. Also, um, train their ear for different things in terms of reading straight dialogue, dialogue instead of reading paragraphs and descriptions. I also hope that they'll be able to do a lot of critical thinking in terms of thinking of a text in the context in which it was written, the time period and the country at that point. Mess. Like, just Rick has all these problems that Big Daddy has to deal with because he's his father, and then. Meanwhile, his other son, Gooper, and his wife are trying to take his life. Your parents set him up right from the beginning. Brick! <laughs> oh, you were. walked into the room, there was just a magnetism about him. You couldn't put your finger on what it was, but you wanted to be around this person, and you wanted him to like you. Um, and it's just this like charisma that you can't, it's a quality that you can't really define, necessarily, but Brick has it, like we said. Man, are no, I'm just trying. You're just trying to concentrate, but you can't, because your brain is soaked with liquor. You Wet saw brain. what happened. But I didn't see what happened in Skipper's hotel room. That little episode was not on TV. Go ahead, tell Big Daddy why you were in Skipper's room. in a region that most of the students don't know very well, the South. So that whole um, cultural milieu is going to be a little foreign. Um, the language, even, you know. Williams writes a bit of it in dialect. It's very interesting to see how the southern characters uh, interact with each other. Oh, look! Oh, look why! It's a cashmere robe! <laughs> she holds the robe up for all to see. You sound surprised, Maggie. <laughs> I never saw him before. Oh, Brick, honey, aren't you going to give Big Daddy his birthday present? Good. All right. Good Good job. Job. It shows a lot about the role that women had to play in the society back then, just kind of to mask everything up and kind of be the mediator. I feel all the time like a cat on a hot tin roof. Then jump off the roof, Maggie, jump off it. Our cats jump off roofs and they land uninjured. Do it, because jump. Of that. It's sort of like giving me an insight to stuff that I wouldn't normally see. It's really intense and like overwhelming almost, but not too overwhelming. It's been a surprise having to work through not the sensitivity to those elements, but the broader way of thinking about them. It was a really great play and it should be incorporated into the curriculum for years to come. What is uh, the victory of a cat on a hot tin roof? Just stand on it, I guess. Long as she can. <laughs>